stupid right there. So I'm going to go around and just go and uh, <laughs> go around there. Now it seems as though I think it might be Tumba, but we'll just go and have a look. I think it's a leopard. I can't see nicely. It's quite far off, but we'll go and have a look. If it is, it must be Tumba. It's general this area is around here I see Rexon's also coming down the road and I know he was tracking a male leopard so maybe he's already found it and then just got went to go fetch his car he said to me he was on foot so I'm just gonna go around and see what I can see but it's all curled up it is most definitely a leopard all curled up sitting in the kind of ditch trying to get out of the cold shame it looks very cold there most certainly a leopard, <laughs> now that I can see it properly. So there we go, Cat con Street continues and Twin Dams continues to produce for us. But it looks slightly bigger. I wonder if it's not Hosanna. I think it's... So Lou, you say Hosanna and Megan says Tumba. Well, Lou, you win the prize today. It is Hosanna by the looks of things. Yes, it is Fasana. It's not Tamba. It's not our little green-eyed boy. It's Fasana for sure. And he is as curled up as you can imagine. Now, I was saying just now that if there is cats around, that they're going to be tightly curled. And that is about as tightly curled up as you could imagine. So it is looks most definitely like Hosanna. When he had his eyes open, it looked like him anyway. But it's also he's got a slightly bulkier kind of wider face than what I see from Tumba. Tumba's almost in that adolescent phase where he's still filling out a bit, whereas Fasana's gone through that and is looking, well, a little bit more puffy than what Tumba does. But a few little cuts and scrapes on his nose. Where are those from? Those are quite new. I haven't seen those for a while. What, did we have those on him last time? I can't even remember. I don't think so. Maybe he's been scratched by something. It almost looks like a thorn or something that's hit him in the nose there. They have healed up a little bit, so... Maybe it is him. Um, but cold, cold cat, that's for sure. He's probably, like us, trying to make himself as small as possible and trying to keep as much body heat in as possible. You can see he's kind of got his head tucked all the way around, tail under the chin, foot all the way in, and it is one little ball of kitty. And that's why I have for a second, I wasn't 100% sure if it was a leopard because the way that he was rolled up, it didn't quite seem like it. And he's in like a little hollow. Where, where it's very cold. <laughs> but that little ditch is like the perfect place. I'd imagine there's not too much wind that is actually coming over that little ditch. And so that's why he can sit in there and be a lot more cooler. I mean, warmer than he would be if he was slightly up and raised. But shame, that is one cold cat. Now, Tony Tutte, you say leopard whisperer strikes again. Well, like I say, I'm just lucky. It's just a leopard sitting at a dam, and we've driven up, and there it is. There's really not very much skill involved in this, but it's an area that seems to be very popular with Hosanna at the moment. He absolutely loves twin dams for some reason. I, I'm sure it's because of the amount of food items that come down here. Also, it's dry, and we know that our um, cats need water, and so it's a great place for him to get water, and, and Tingana has not really been spending much time here, so, well, why not? I can hear a Wahlberg's eagle calling as well, which must be here in the tree because the grey go-away birds are going crazy and I don't think it would be for this leopard because he's not really being threatening in any way. I want to just try and see because it looks really weird. It's almost like it's actually feeding off the jackalberries, which would be completely odd for a Wahlberg's eagle. So I just want to have a little look on top and see if it is. It is a Wahlberg's eagle, but it's no, it's not feeding off the jackalberries. It's just kind of trying to get its balance. I think the go away birds have been dive bombing it so it's sitting in the tree and is really kind of getting dive bombed and getting abused starlight you're wondering why hosano which is out in the open and not sitting under a tree or something well don't forget it's, the sun is not is just risen it is a cloudy morning so it's fairly dingy and dark and so he can sit right out in the open and actually blend in quite well um, he's also you know, don't want doesn't want to get into any shade in case some sun does come out where he can get warmed up. But I'll get back to him now. It's just you can see the Wahlberg's eagle that I was talking about over there. So it's one of the pale form ones. It's probably the one that um, spends time just to the north of us. There is a nest, and I'm sure that's the one that nests over there. And you, that's why the go away birds are getting so upset. Is because this Wahlberg's eagle 
is around and um and they are obviously very nervous of it because Wahlberg's eagles are birds that hunt other birds and so it's a bird that they need to be a little bit careful of and make sure that they just keep in their eyesight but it's a great tree for a Wahlberg to sit in it's a huge jackalberry and from up there it's probably got the best vantage point of this entire area um, and can see really really well everywhere and it looks like it might fly nope you're going to sit tight you see it's picking at something I wonder if it's trying to actually get the branches off this to try and then put in its nest because it's definitely grabbing something there I thought I saw it doing something like that but I wonder what it's up to maybe like I say it's trying to get branches for the nest itself it could be there might be a branch inside there that it wants and an eagle can be particular so it's trying to maybe pull that specific branch and then it will go to the nest weave it into the nest make sure that it's all kind of in the right place and settled it down and then it will carry on from there so I think that's what our Wahlberg's eagle is up to nice to have two predators in one sighting though one is an aerial predator and the other one well a ground based predator but we'll leave our Wahlberg's to himself and uh, see if he can find himself some sort of a stick you can hear the growway birds are going mental they are not very happy about this and the reason why is because they're all trying to eat the fruits in that tree and now there's this big bird of prey in their tree it really hasn't gone down well with the the neighbors this morning to have him pruning the vegetation around them but Hassan lying out in the open again we're just getting back to that is the reason is is he's it's it's cold so he's found himself a little ditch you might find that that ground there is slightly warmer and is radiating a little bit of warmth from any sun that was absorbed yesterday also he would have probably drank at this pan and then just found himself somewhere to lie down and rest the reason why not under a tree is because also there's not very much sun to drive him under a tree either it's not hot this morning which means that he can sit right out in the open fairly comfortably and at the end of the day very few animals are going to be coming down to drink just yet it's still cooler and so he doesn't have to worry about camouflaging himself too much either. Shame, my boy, are you cold? <laughs> and it is as cold a leopard as you'll ever see. He looks really big though this morning. I wonder if maybe his coat is all standing up and that's why he's so puffy this morning. One real human, you're asking what is the current temperature and at what temperature would Hosanna start to feel cold? Well, the current temperature is about 17 degrees, I think it's 68 Fahrenheit, I might have got that wrong, but somewhere around there. But it's not so much the, the sort of temperature, it's the wind chill that we've got today. So we've got a bit of a wind that's blowing and it's a bit chilly in that regard. And so it means that when a cat is out and about and after hot weather like we've had, remember we've been having 90 degree Fahrenheit days, 100 degree Fahrenheit days, and so for him it's a drastic change pretty much overnight. So it's gotten very cold very quickly, and that's why he's feeling it a little bit. So he's tucking himself up just to stay nice and warm and to, uh, to try and not lose too much body heat. Remember, as soon as they start to lose too much body heat, the body has having to shiver and having to kind of keep themselves warm again, and that uses a lot of energy. So rather than getting to that point, it's it's better just to curl up and take it easy. If we get even a little bit of sun coming out you'll find that he'll probably unroll himself a little bit more and become a bit more spread out but it's just because there's no sun there's no way that he can get any other warmth other than just trying to curl up and giving himself his using his own body heat to heat himself up basically in this tight ball. It's like us when we get really cold you kind of tuck your hands in and you try and get yourself as hunched over as possible and, and keep your body really kind of tightly bound just trying to keep your body heat in and it's the same thing for him but I would imagine little Hosan is going to spend his entire day here hopefully he doesn't get interrupted by baboons and that they don't cause any problems I'm sure baboons will come past here at some point today and it's not nice when they do because they end up chasing our young boys quite a bit so Tumba gets chased, Hosanna gets chased they often do by the baboons and so hopefully he doesn't and he can get into a thicket and we'll have him here this afternoon as well he tends to be a cat that spends a lot of time at the water hole so once he's at one he tends to stick around there for the day he doesn't tend to move too much unless something like I say pushes him off <laughs> so he's woken up because of the parrots 
that were making a bit of noise and also the go away birds you might think maybe there's another predator on its way because the go away birds are going so crazy and alarm calling even though it's for an eagle he's not going to be a hundred percent sure and right now our little Hosanna is curled and cold and really doesn't like the weather today but I believe Taylor McCurdy's lions are sitting very nicely in the beautiful morning sun and I'm taking it in as much as possible.